We've reached our destination. Hey. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You need to stop this fixation with weapons. But you're the same way about food. Are you planning to stop that? We've reached our destination. Right, here goes! Take this! Now you see what I can do! Yeah. Burn! First strike! Mega Negative ray. gate! Eat this! I'll end you! Here I go! Eat this! Uh -huh. Eat this. Oh, got fire. I've got one. Here I go. I'm going to handle it. Infernal All yours. You're mine. Right. You're finished. Can you take it? Ready. Does it hurt? Let's refrain from losing. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? An opponent like this should be easy. Glacial Spear, uh, here's the evil! Right! Not in your dreams! Uh, uh, Can I get some extra? I'm ready to show me! Hey! Ha. Blow them away! You're wide open! Rising you're right! Gone. Airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for oh, you. Really? You require. I'm on. I need this over. I can carve through. Do it. Astral energy. Full throttle. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. You all... all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through.
Can you take it? Elusive deity! Tap it! Your reflexes will not serve you well here. Beckons into ever... Beckons into everlasting darkness. Negative gate! Ha! Elusive deity! A debut performance! Tornado drop!
Leading pile driver! Does it hurt? Have a thing! Ha! Ja! Elusive deity! I'll face you! Ha! You're mine! I am not beyond fury! Catapult! Take this! Behold! The Earth pulse! Tectonic vision! I'll face you! Catapult! Not so fast! Catapult! I can't take much more! Ha! Does it hurt? Not so fast! Catapult! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! Can you take it? Rotating pile driver! Begin! Does it hurt? Elusive deity! I'll face you! Tap it! Not so fast! Take this! In a bind? Ha! Resonate with the Earth! Stalagmite! Benediction light. Heal! Resonate with the earth! <laughs> Begin! Does it hurt? Ah! Elusive! Deity! Can you take it? Rotating pile driver! Tornado drive! <laughs> Can you take it? Take this! Resonate with the earth! <laughs> Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! Can you take it? What? Tempest! Elusive deity! Rotating pile driver! Tornado drive! Not so fast! Resonate with the earth! Stalagmite! Benediction, the earth throbs in pain. In a bind? I'll face you! Tornado drive! Tempest! Take this! Begin! Catapult! Begin! Not so fast! Elusive deity! Rotating pile driver! Benediction light. Heal! Resonate with the earth! Stalagma! Do you require a hand? Can you take it? Can't get out of this! Can you take it? Rotating pile driver! You're mine! Does it hurt? Breeze. Get in, get out. This one's mine. Eat this! You're done! Oh. Throw it! Eat dirt! Elusive 
After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danons and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? 
You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Megal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elder Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well? This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. I'm amazed how easily you can move such a giant shield around like it's nothing. Really? It's not actually as heavy as it looks. It's really reassuring to have someone like you protecting us, though. You know, I guess I never realized it before. But looking back, I've always been the sort to put myself in harm's way to protect those around me, even before I joined the Elderman and Sia Guard. So, in a way, Using this shield to keep you all safe feels like it's what I was meant to do. You don't need to worry about protecting me. I don't plan on relying on you. That's okay. 
It doesn't matter if you do or not. I don't protect people because they ask me to. I do it because I want to, and because I think it's the right thing to do. That goes for you too, Dohalim. Me? Yes. You see, you and I both want the same thing. We have the same goal. That means it's in my best interest to continue to protect and keep you safe as well. Even now. <sighs> I'm not sure how much protecting I'll need either, but I appreciate the thought. I'm sure you'll do us proud, Kisara. Right. You can all count on me. What was Kalzalek even after in the end? Isn't it obvious? Clearly he wanted the throne for himself, and was gonna have his goons execute Dohalim to get it. He had to have known he couldn't hope to defeat a lord. He should have run while he had the chance, instead of holing himself up in the palace. Maybe he thought he couldn't run? Either way, the outcome's the same. So he got desperate and decided to go for broke? One might argue that he was another victim of mine, in a sense. Huh? There is no greater calling in life to a Renan than the Crown Contest, yet I refuse to take part. The shock he felt at that must have been truly immense. Enough to drive him to revolt. Even though doing so meant defying Renan hierarchy. I know I've said this before, but Danans and Renans wouldn't coexist here if it wasn't for your stance. But that was no lofty idealism on my part, nor do I feel any pride at what occurred. Spare us the pity party. You literally just joined us to uphold those ideals. Xion! No, she is absolutely correct. I shall speak no more of my misgivings. <laughs> Woo! I think Hoodle senses something. Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited now. I wonder what kind of lord we're gonna find there. It doesn't matter. If they try to get in our way, we'll take them down and that'll be that. Of the trash. Here you are, Wyvern! Catapult! You're on! Challenge! You're four. finished! Bloody! First! Not in your dreams! You're done! Now you see what I can do! Do it! Go no lead! Hey! Blow them away! Ow! Nothing gets by me! Radiant! Far enough! You're mine! This one won't crumble! Not today! Not so fast! Tempest! Mega Red! Rising oh, Wyvern! I'm ready! This one keeps charging us! That's what my shield's for! Get behind me! Mega Red! Everyone hanging in there? Oh! Hoo hoo hoo! Hoo hoo hoo! Hoo! Maybe something's going on in the forest. No backing down! Here I come! Sonic Thrower! Where does he begin? Stop! It's over! 
Can you take it? Do it! Take! Blow them away! Acceptable. Small, but a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet. to go. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. There's a nice breeze here. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Yeah. All right. You've got to know when to quit. Reel it in. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Not too shabby, friend.
Wouldn't it be easier to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the whole point of going out to fish. Ha! Not my lucky day, I guess. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. <clears throat> I've got something. We can get a good meal out of this fella. That flapper was a true fighter. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. <sighs> hmm? Is it just me? 
Or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh, she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. I've noticed that sometimes we come across enemies who fight like you and try to dodge our attacks at the last second. I hate those guys. I can get some hits in when they move in to attack, but otherwise they slip past damn near everything else I throw at them. If what you're seeking is a way to more reliably hit them, there is a solution. Try to outclass them on reflexes? I possess the ability to command Earth Elemental Beings to some extent. They emerge as the land itself and take root on my command. They will swiftly bind the enemies, at which point you can dispatch them. Huh? Uh, what he means is that he can make plants grow to hold the enemies in place. At least I think that's probably what he's saying. I'm glad at least one of us understands him. So basically, if we find an enemy that likes to dodge, we should let Doholim handle it. I shall do what I can within my modest means to help. Did we really just spend that much money? Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No... Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. 
And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me, but my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No, I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue. looking at me like that. That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menencian Guard, right? Originally, I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We Guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every Guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Sora, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Migal was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Golddust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie in the sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go, do you guys have everything? <laughs> 